Hello guys, my name is John Taylor and I'm an amateur video maker. It's not my full-time job, I'm by no means professional, but I like making videos for fun using my phone. Currently I'm using this guy, the Samsung S10 Plus, but this would work on any Android device, any Apple device, any half decent mobile phone with a good camera and a bit of processing power and you can use the similar principles um, in your own software and applications. The specific software I'm going to be using today is a software by a company called Cyberlink which is called Power Director Mobile. I think this software is great, it's really really good, it's very easy to use and the functionality and capabilities on it considering it's just on a mobile device are brilliant. So here we go. First of all, I'm going to show you the effects and some of the recent videos that I've done with a bit of a mashup of all of the effects together. Hope you like them. I'm then going to jump into the tutorial showing you specifically how you can do a chroma key transition. The one I'm going to show you specifically today is going to be zooming through the eye and going into a different scene, but you can use this for loads of other things, zooming in and out of windows, through cracks in doors, and you'll see those examples in the video that I'm going to play now. Roll VT. Okay, let's go. So first thing, click on the Power Director app. You're then going to find your media. So for this, I've chosen a sequence where I'm filming from an eye that's in focus, and I'm then panning back around to take in some of the scenery. So because I've shot it in reverse to get the eye nicely in focus initially, I'm gonna reverse the video. Once the video is reversed, I'm then gonna find the point where I want the video to start, and then the point where I want the video to finish, which is gonna be when the eye comes nicely into focus. So here, perfect. I'm gonna cut the video there, delete the second half, I don't need that. And what I'm now going to do is take a screenshot of this last image. Uh, so this last frame within that video. I'm gonna screenshot it. Now on Samsung, it's great because it comes up with a tool and I can just click edit and I can just draw straight onto that screenshot, which is lovely. So I'm gonna try and blank out all of the iris. I'm doing this really quickly here. You can take a little bit more care with the detail. I'm then gonna crop it. So I'm just gonna take off the little edges of my screenshot and I'm then gonna save it. I can then go back into the Power Director app open up media, click on photos, go to my screenshots and pop that screenshot into the timeline. Now I've got that screenshot in the timeline, what I want to do is use the pan and zoom effect. I'm going to take off the random motion and use a custom motion. Change the end position to zoom in as far as I can on the eye. Now it won't let me zoom in all the way, that's as far as I can go in one cut. So what I'm then going to do is take the final frame of that zoom transition, take another screenshot and repeat the process. So again, I don't need to color it this time because I've already done that, but I'm gonna crop it in just like this, save it, go back to the media, open up the screenshots, chuck it back in the timeline, use the pan and zoom effect in exactly the same way again. Perfect. So 
This time I can zoom in a little bit further. Again, for where I stop my shot, it's still not enough to get the entire screen to be green, which is what we need. So we're gonna repeat the process one last time. So I've taken the last frame, screenshot, trim my screenshot, Save it, back, and boosh, back in the timeline. Again, same process, so we're gonna use pan and zoom. You're gonna click no effect to take off the existing effect, then go into custom motion and zoom back in. This time, great, I can fill the whole screen with green, so that's gonna work perfectly for what we're going to do, which is use the chroma key effect. So this is what the clip looks like. It's obviously a little bit disjointed at the moment, but it goes all the way through, finishes with a green screen, fantastic. We're gonna save that. I'm just saving it in full HD just to make this nice and quick. If you wanna save yours in 4K, you can do so. I'm now going to open up a new project. So I'm gonna come out of this project, click on new project. I'm gonna call this new project iTransition. There we go. I'm going to add the clip I just made as a layer. Boom, into the timeline. So this layer now is exactly what I just showed you in the last clip, so we don't need to go back through that. I'm going to add a color board onto the timeline. Now, the reason for this will become clear in a moment. I'm then going to add the clip that I want to appear once I've gone through the eye to the timeline. I'm going to um, just take the fade effects off the layer at the bottom because we don't want those to be on there. Uh, what we do want to do now though, is to use that chroma key effect. So we're gonna use the edit icon up at the top, click on chroma key, we're gonna select the green with the color picker and get rid of it. I'm gonna set denoise to zero, because I think this looks better, and increase the color range slightly. You wanna check if you're losing any color in your image. Again, if you've got a lot of green in your image already, you might have to use a different color or you would have to use a different color than green to block out the eye. You could use a fuchsia, something like that, or, or you know, a, a deep blue color, um, or whatever you can use there. Um, we're gonna put a fade effect on that color board. But the reason we're gonna go from the black and fade in is just to make it look a little bit more realistic so that when you're zooming in on the eye, it's not a really bright image. We're fading in from that black through to the existing image a bit more like you're actually going through the, the iris. Again, it's not a perfect effect, but I think it looks really good and it's amazing that you can do this just using your phone. Uh, we're now gonna get to the point of the clip that we actually want to appear. So this is gonna be me looking up at the board at Grand Central Station. So we're gonna find the bit that we want here. Perfect. So now as we go through, comes through, checking my watch at the board, we're gonna cut there, delete it, and that essentially is the final clip. What I'm gonna do is go through some ways that you can make that clip look a little bit smoother. So you can add a radial blur effect on once you've rendered this clip. You can also um, play around with the speed to make it a little bit smoother and also add a sound effect. So some background noise and a whoosh effect. Now, the thinnest version of that is later on in this video. So if you don't wanna look through all the little steps and tweaks, you can skip ahead towards the end of the video uh, where I'm also gonna be showing some other transitions that I hope to cover some tutorials on in the near future.
Thank you guys, I hope you like the effect. You can use this in loads of different ways, as I mentioned at the start of the video. It's really simple to do. What you're basically doing is taking a screenshot of the final frame of the video, coloring out the area that you want to zoom in on, and then just successively zooming in until that color completely covers the screen. You add that back on in a layer to another video, and you can chroma key out that chosen color so you get that really nice effect where you're going through something. So there we use the iris and the eye, but you can make that essentially anything in your photo that you want to zoom in on. I hope you have fun with this. If you do and you make a video and you use these transitions, please let me know. Please drop it to me. I'm on Instagram at Taylor8489 or comment in the below. I'd love to check out your videos and see what you make. I'm sure you can do a much better job than that quick rush job that I've just done to show you there. I really hope you found it informative and useful. If you want to see the next video, the plan is to do zooming in and out of photos or postcards as transitions. I used it at the start of this video. So if you want to see that, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up. See you in the next one. Take care.